This video will cover how to get the best results out of the Morphogene's input. As with any audio signal path, it is important to pay attention to gain staging and headroom to ensure the best signal to noise ratio. The basic use of auto leveling is simple. While monitoring the sound you will be using, hold record and press shift to set the level based on the current amplitude of the sound. When you release record, the level will be set. So it is possible to continue holding record after pressing shift to do a rolling listen. Ideally, release when the sound is at the loudest level it will reach during the recording. This level you have chosen will be saved into the Morphogene's options on the SD card so that it remains after powering off until the next time you perform the auto level procedure. When using noisy line level devices such as computers or phones to record into the Morphogene, be sure to set the output volume to the loudest level you can without causing clipping. The reason for this is that the device's noise floor will remain the same level regardless of the output level. When the output level is set low, the noise floor is louder relative to the signal, so when boosted by the Morphogene, the noise floor is also boosted. When the output level is set higher, the noise floor is quieter relative to the signal. Not as much boosting is required, and the noise floor will not be boosted as much. When recording with the Morphogene, there are several noise sources that are all being added together. If you are using a recording that was previously made, such as a YouTube video or a song, the first noise source is that of the original recording. The second is the noise floor of the device that is generating the sound. This could be an instrument such as another synthesizer, or a playback device such as a tablet, computer, or iPhone. The third is the noise floor of the Morphogene input and output. Minimizing noise at each stage is the best way to optimize recordings. When using pre-recorded sounds such as a drum loop, it is possible to eliminate two stages of this noise addition completely by loading sounds onto an SD card for use in the Morphogene instead of recording it into the inputs. This will bypass both the output of the playback device and the input of the Morphogene. In the next video, we will discuss how to create and edit reels for the Morphogene using a computer. If you always use modular level signals, you could set and forget by patching a constant level signal such as a sine wave to the Morphogene inputs and performing auto level once. The level will be saved to the SD card. In this case, you could still record line level sounds into the Morphogene if you use an external preamp to boost them to a comfortable level.